here we go we've got a good one for you today we've got a new toy let's have a look Now, whilst I'm dreaming about what to do with my greenhouse, here's some jobs for October. But first of all, so guys, if you've been following along with me, by now you should have a beautiful hanging basket of lettuce. Uh, this is an absolute winner. Uh, it's what we do here. We try and give you the best throughout the season and help you grow with us so it will be step by step copy what i do and hopefully you'll have a fantastic season yes there will be failures but let's celebrate this win once your beans are finished it's time to start pulling up the canes and storing them for next year So now is a great time to collect all your pods from your French beans and your runner beans. If you had an early crop, you'll have already dried them out like this. And it's just a case of popping them open and there's your seeds for next year. We all love free seeds, don't we? So it seems like everything's shutting down. The nights are getting darker. Uh, the weather is definitely changing, here in the UK especially. Uh, so it's a good time to get on top of your jobs. So clearing the paths on your allotment or your veggie plot so they're nice and manageable. Dig over any beds that you have that come available uh, for planting autumn veg or to overwinter, so to cover up with a green manure. And if you want to keep your feet out of the dirt, consider in making your beds one metre across. Like this. Also remove any dead leaves off the ground to control the slugs and snails. In October you want to be thinking about digging up your main crop potatoes before the ground freezes as well. So, That'll do for Sunday lunch. While we've still got relatively warm days, look I'm in a t-shirt. It's time to start planning any moves that you have for the allotment, like moving compost bins, popping in sheds, greenhouses, or just moving the uh, your beds, you know, moving things around. Uh, it's a great month to start planning and putting the plans into force, uh, because as it moves into November, December, it just gets cold and very, very dark early, uh, and there's not enough time to do things like that. So October is your month or moving things around the allotment. So it's time for the onions and we'll do, we'll space them around, around the plot so don't want to put them all in the same bed. I do like to pop the onions into different beds. So we'll pop a few rows of the Japanese one and then a, a few rows of the radar one. So the way we do it, we'll get our label, pop it in the ground and we just want just want the tips poking through. You don't have to mark this out. So this one's nice and easy. We get a line. Mark out where we want to go. Keep it straight to keep the weeds out. Flat end down. And we just pop them. just below the surface, okay? And so we want to choose a nice branch. Uh, 
one year old, so this one, and cut down to around 30 centimetres. What we'll do now, you can use a rooting powder. It's an optional extra, by the way. Let's dip it in, and we'll place the cuttings to the side about halfway, so half the depth. Can't go wrong with that, can you? It's pick and come again. So we'll harvest a bit off this. We've got a few more going and we've got a few more plugs to help us go through winter. So if you want beautiful vegetables like this, think about subscribing to the channel. It is free and follow along so we can get the best out of the season. And we'll keep you on track and you know, give you the best harvest you can possibly get. So it's great to see you and we'll catch up next time.